So you've got a Discord server and you are interested in getting Twitch or stream notifications populated into your announcement channel. Well, you're in luck. I am Joachim B and I will be presenting to you the Now Live bot. Now Live is a live stream announcing bot for Discord. It covers Twitch, Mixer, YouTube Gaming, Picado and Smashcast at the moment. Just some quick highlights. Now Live bot can edit messages if they have gone offline as well. And there's some filtering capabilities, which is really, really valuable and which we'll get into a little bit later. Also to note, it's got multi-language support, so hey, there's that. So in this video, I will show you how to set up your Now Live bot into your Discord server, how to customize the announcements, manage the stream notifications, and ultimately filter announcements by games or titles even. So let's get into it. In order to set up Now Live in your server, what you want to do is you want to go to nowlivebot.com. Click on the Invite Me button, select the server where you would like it to. Now you would need admin access in order to get this populated. Authorize it and just confirm your humanity. Once that's done, you will now see Now Live Bot in your server. Populated it down here. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to move now live into one of my henchman roles, which is the role that I gave to all my bots. Now it'll neatly be sitting underneath all my bots down here. And that's it. Step one is done. You now have now live in your server. That brings us to step two, how to set up an announcement channel. Now I have done videos on how to set up channels, so I'm not going to go to, into too much detail on this, but I have set up the active streams channel. And if you look at the active streams, I have made my henchmen give all the access to view everything and read messages. So my dragon slayers, magi and knights can actually read and send and squires and everybody else can only read. Now, the only reason that I keep kept this for sending as well is in case the bot goes offline at times, then people can manually paste it in there. But for the most part, the bot is stable. It is up and running. It does have hiccups, but it's not too bad. One thing to note, the bot does take anything from 5 to 15 minutes to actually notify of any changes. This is the way that the notification APIs work. It is not a limitation of the bot itself, but generally streams go for a couple of hours anyway, so 15 minutes ain't too bad. What we want to do now that we have got now live in our server is we want to take this first command, which is config the set default announcement channel and set it to my active streams channel so there's my active streams channel and now what you'll see is that all notifications will actually go through into the active streams just to make sure that the bot has got all the permissions it needs you can go in our config check permissions and shows you everything should be okay and if you ever need to see if the bot is actually online or offline, you can just do a ping to the bot and he will tell you this wonderful story of how he went to an all-American ping pong team in China. Because that makes sense. Next, what we want to do, 2.2, set up format announcements to a small embed. Personally, I like the small embed. There is also a full embed and a video embed. Now, I have had problems with the video embed. The full embed is just too big. Small embed is pretty good and no embed, well, then you just get a string message and I also don't like that. So I'm opting for the small embed. Next, we are going to set the online message and I'm setting the message to whatever the channel name is, is live and playing whichever game they are playing. Support their stream at target URL and join their followers. So this will actually show how many followers they currently have. Let's just copy that one. So now that is my message, which brings us to the cleanup. So what the cleanup does is as soon as the person goes offline, what do we want them to see? You can either do nothing. So just keep that post there forever. I don't like that. I think it feels spammy. I really want a nice channel that shows you only the active streams that are currently available. Maybe show a history of streams, which I can then see who did anything. So I am going to in our cleanup delete that'll actually remove the post but for now I'm going to tell now live to edit the post 
and now it'll edit it to whatever you specify as the offline message. So I'm going to say this channel with so many followers finished a stream with so many viewers. Finish a stream on and then the game with so many viewers. Excellent. So now whenever anybody goes offline, you will actually see a message similar to what you see in the active streams over here. Darwin followers finish the stream with one viewer. And that is it. That is for customizing your announcements. We have set up the default channel. We check the permissions. We made sure that the messages are the way that we want it with a small embed, an online message. And when they go offline, edit the message to show that they are offline and show how many followers and viewers they had. Okay, now we want to manage the notifications. Now, there's three ways to go about this. The first way is very manual and you will need to set up every single person individually by registering their Twitch account or their YouTube gaming account or their Mixer account. Now, personally, I don't want to do that because that is going to just take forever. What Now Live allows you to do is to say that I want Discord streams to actually pop through. Now, if I say NL Config Discord streams, That'll now allow anybody in my Discord server who has actually went to their profile and attached their, linked their accounts onto their profile. As soon as they go and play something on Twitch or YouTube gaming, then now live will actually just populate that into the announcements. But that's not really what I want. What I would like to do is only allow certain members of certain roles to do that. So what we want to do is we just want to specify the role. So we want to specify uh, the knights and so it's added the knights and now we're going to specify the other two roles as well. Magi as well as dragon slayers. So now the discord streams will only notify if a member falls into the knights, the magi or the dragon slayers roles. Now that we have got our streams managed and customized, there's only one more thing to do, and that is to filter out the games that we are after. Take for instance, the Sky Knights channel, which I am a moderator on. We have set up active streams notifications, which identifies anybody in Twitch to actually notify if they play the Sky Knights game. They don't even need to be part of the Discord server anybody gets notified as long as they are streaming. So to set that up, what you want to do is you want to say, I want to look for anything in Twitch with the game name of Sky Knights. So that will now get announced in this channel. Now, one more thing that you can do is you can actually filter out specific games on the notifications in your Discord server. In order to do that, you would just say on Twitch, Specify the G filter and open bracket the game name. If you've got more than one game, maybe you would like to add a pipe and then say PUBG as well. Now Sky Knights and PUBG has actually been added into the game filter. Do note with the game items, only Twitch and Mixer I believe has got that filter at the moment. But if you do do the global setting of dash game, I I think it applies across the board. I am not entirely sure, unfortunately. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you. This quick guide on Now Live. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content and guides. I'd really appreciate any feedback on this guide. So please let me know in the comments down below if this video has helped you at all or not. And come say hi on Patreon and hang around in Discord. Stay in touch. Thank you for watching. Yoking out.